afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Seattle Mariners and the Kansas City Royals. And here's the speedster D Gordon and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. Hit in the air to right field. Soler is there. Makes the play one away. So one away here with the base is empty. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Malik Smith. One out nobody on. This is pulled into right. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Around second. He's on his way to third. The relay throw. But he is in there with a triple. That is third. The right field. Mitch Hanniger. Stepping in now. Mitch Hanniger. A ball and two strikes to Mitch Hanniger. Hey, after that extra base hit, things could go awry. He didn't. He battled right back in his zone with a nice executed pitch. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. Striding forward now, the Mariners' cleanup hitter, Daniel Vogelback. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. Into the box now, Adalberto Mondesi. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. A two and one count to the leadoff hitter for Kansas City. A swing and a miss there, two and two. The pitch. Swing and a flare hit toward right. In there, a base hit. So now to the plate, Alex Gordon popped him up. Murphy has a play, and that's the first out of the inning. So a runner at first with one man gone, and Whit Merrifield will dig in at the plate. One one. There he goes. A pitch out. The throw. And boy, even a pitch out can't slow him down. He's in there at second base. Wanted to go after the slider, but he holds off three and one. We're seeing a good A-B here from the three-hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here, he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first inning. 3-2 pitch. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. And the run will score from second as this ball game is tied one apiece. At the plate now, Jorge Soler reined in. The second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Here's cargo Carlos Gonzalez as it'll be five six and seven due up to kick off the second inning. Here it comes on one and one. And oh he can't get out of the way of that one so the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Next for Seattle Kyle Seager he's ready for his first at bat of his early season contest. Neither guy willing to give in and the at bat will continue. 
The 3 2 pitch. Fouled off. Gonzalez gets his lead at first, nobody out. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. This is on the ground over to first. And that finds its way through for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Standing in now, Tom Murphy. Two and two now. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first down. Set to get his day started, J.P. Crawford. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. One and two, the count to the Mariners shortstop. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. He's set. Here's the 2-2. First and second now, one man out. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Coming to the plate now, Dylan Moore. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. One and one, here it is. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. 34 pitches for him through an inning and two-thirds right now. That's not terrible, but it's a lot higher than he'd like. Phillips is there for it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. <laughs> Digging in now for Kansas City, Hunter Dozier. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. a called strike on the curveball one and two hey that's a great job by the pitcher right there stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball and now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt two and two to Hunter Dozier the two two a bouncer up the middle and a base hit so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning In now, Salvador Perez hit sharply on the ground. One there, and for the second time in two innings here this afternoon, they bounced into a double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And digging in is the veteran DH, Michael Franco. The 1-1. One -one. Fly ball out toward left center field. Gonzalez has a read on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Digging in now for the Mariners, D. Gordon, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Line hard down the line and right. And that is a foul ball. Just missing extra bases deep in the corner. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Shin high fastball that time. Ball three. Malik Smith waits on deck. To first. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Malik Smith the next to hit. He smacked a triple and later scored his first time around. The 1-1 one -one home. Bases are empty, one man out. 
Grounded down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Mariner's center fielder down with a full count. Three balls and two strikes. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Mondesi onto the grass. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Into the box. The Mitch Hanniger. He hit a sack fly earlier. Two out. Nobody on. Looked like he got fooled on the speed there. Two and two. Got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. So next to the plate for the Royals, Ryan O'Hearn. Hit sharply on the ground. Crawford has it. Throws in time, and that's out number one. So the base is empty here with one away, and that brings up outfielder Brett Phillips. Here's the one and two delivery, and the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Now at the plate, Adalberto Mondesi. He singled his last time up. 1-1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Got him swinging. Made him chase outside the zone that time, and that puts an end to the inning. Dan Vogelbach is next. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1-1 one, one home. Aye. And this is swung on and missed in this fourth inning. We'll start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout. And there's one away. One run, two hits. And no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. And Gonzalez lays off as he goes to two and one now. And he got him to chase after a bad one there. Two and two. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. Three and two, full count. Now the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Digging in now, Kyle Seeger. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Back up the middle, Mondesi brings it in. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. At the plate, Alex Gordon, 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. Now the 2 1. Will not catch the zone, ball three. Time to wake up the offense right here. 3 1 count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the fourth. Now with the plate, Rick Merrifield looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two lifted in the air toward the line and right. And no one will track it down. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. In is Jorge Soler. 
Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And they take the lead. It's gone. At the plate, Hunter Dozier. Uh, just trying to freeze him with the fastball there. Pretty close. It's two and two. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Another 2-2 offering. Down the left field line and deep. And no one will get this one. The 2-2 one more time. Left side of the infield into the shift. And there are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the former World Series hero, Salvador Perez. Here now, the 2 2. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this AB hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Now a changeup just off the plate as that misses for ball four. So here's the Royals DH, Michael Franco. He flew out in his last at bat. The 1 1 home is looked at for ball number two. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Two two here it is in the air to straightaway right giving chase is Hediger he's not going to have a play on it and this might bring home the runner from first so now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Now that number 52. To the plate now Ryan O'Hearn hard on the ground towards short and that's through into left to base hit. And not in time as the run scores. And he's safe. Now Into the box now, Brett Phillips. There's strike two as it catches the outside corner. And it's a two and two count to Brett Phillips. He certainly has an open base down there, but you don't want your defender standing flat footed for much longer. It is put in play to the right side of the infield. On to first, and it's in time as they're finally able to retire him. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. Coming to the plate now, Tom Murphy looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. A three and one pitch. And there's a base hit on the line. The back, number three, short stop, JP. Into the box, JP Crawford. Ground ball right side. There's one. Out. On to first, and they turn the double play. And now the Mariners' DH, Dylan Moore, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. line towards center field and that's a base hit one for two in his first couple of plate appearances so with that the top of the fifth is still alive the batter number nine, second base D Gordon. at the plate now D Gordon popped foul and it looks like that's going to make it into the VIP seats
And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. Now a move over to first. Runner back safely. The 2-2. Two -two. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Mondesi will put this one away, and the side is retired. So it's back to the top of the order now. And striding toward the plate next will be Adalberto Mondesi. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Digging in once again, Alex Gordon. Alex Gordon. And now pitch on the way. And that's lifted the other way out to left. And Gonzalez will put this one away for round number two. So two are gone now in the Royal fifth. And that'll bring up the second baseman, Whit Merrifield. The 3-1. is a high drive to left. Back toward the wall, but he's going to run out of room. It's gone! That wasn't a particularly good pitch right here. This guy doesn't get away with very many mistakes. He's going to have to do a better job pitching out of the middle part of the plate. Eric Swanson will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Stepping in now, Jorge Soler. On the ground to third. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Top half of the sixth about to get started. So here's Malik Smith. One for two in the game. He tripled and scored back in the first. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. One strike. Here's a hard hit ball to the left side that'll be taken in out there at short. He really zeroed in on that one, but the leadoff man's kept off base to start inning number six. One run, four hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Fouled away. High in the air out to center field. Phillips is there for it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now Into back. the box now, the first Daniel base. Vogelback is hoping to avoid the hat Vogelback. trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Hey. Vogelback behind the ball and two strikes. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Now to the plate, Hunter Dozier. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The 1-1 home. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Waiting on it is Smith. One away. Stepping into the box, Salvador Perez. One out, nobody on. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Hit in the air out to right. Waiting on it is Henniger. And he makes the catch for the second out. Striding forward now is the DH. Michael Franco, one for two in the ball game thus far. Here it comes on one and one. High and deep to right center. Racing back the center fielder. And get your groove on. It's into the party porch for a home run.
So now to the plate, Ryan O'Hearn. Two and one to the Royals' first baseman. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. Not being very aggressive right now. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Here now the 2 2. Is in there, a called strike three. Jesse Hahn will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Seventh inning ready to roll. Standing in, Carlos Gonzalez. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Still two and two. Here's the pitch. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Perez recovers. He'll throw down to first, one away. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. Lifetime against Jesse Hahn. He's only two for ten. Now the one and one pitch. Lifted the other way to left center. Gordon on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. And that'll bring in Tom Murphy. He's one for two in the ball game. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two and one. Three and one. J.P. Crawford would be next. The three and one pitch. Tapped out in front of home. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Brett Phillips will bat next. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 1 2. And he can't get out of the way there. So the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Adalberto Mondesi. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Gonzalez coming on, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Now battle. Standing in now, Alex Gordon changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Now Trying to pick things up where he left off. Whit Merrifield. He's two for three and looking for more here. The last at that, Matty D, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. High in the air and deep to left center field. As a team, they've gone yard four times, and this guy's accounted for half of them. Memo to all pitchers the rest of the game, if this guy comes to the plate, you might want to pitch around him. Taylor Gilbo enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Taylor Gilbo. In now, Jorge Soler. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. 
Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. And that brings in Hunter Dozier. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. Swing, and he pops him up. Vogelback shading to his right. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Riding in, J.P. Crawford. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. All even now, two and two. Grounded to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Next will be the designated hitter, Dylan Moore. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. The 2-1. Waves and misses for strike number two. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. He'll try it again, three and two. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. The batter now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, D. Gordon. He's 0 for 3 so far, so he hasn't done much to help at the top of the lineup. Pitch is popped up. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Chopped up the line to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Digging in, Salvador Perez. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Lifted in the air to straightaway left. Gonzalez has a read on it. One out. In now, Michael Franco. So far, two for three in this one. Bases are empty, one man out. Guide in the air to straightaway left. Gonzalez on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Stepping into the box, Ryan O'Hearn. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. At the plate, Malik Smith hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next A.B. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. The 1-2 one, offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Oh, and he's caught looking at a beautiful curveball there as that buckled him for the first out of the inning. Now batter, 
So here's the cleanup hitter, Daniel, Daniel Vogelback. Vogelback. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. The 1-1. One, one. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Three and one. There's Carlos Gonzalez. He waits on deck. And there's a called strike at the knees as he was hoping for a base on balls there, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Merrifield brings it in to second for one. On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Well, just an excellent job right here closing this one out. He just collected the first save of his career. Got to start somewhere. 10-1, to 1, the final lopsided score in this ball game. The Kansas City Royals get the win on the heels of four home runs. Brad Keller earns the win his second. Yusei Kikuchi permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. Jesse Hahn takes the rare three-inning save his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watt, me and our entire crew. I'm Matt Baskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Kansas City Royals. On 10 hits, no errors. They left two men on base. For the Mariners, one run, four hits, no errors. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 31 minutes. Our paid attendance at Kauffman Stadium this afternoon, 37,903. The Royals thank you for attending and remind you to buckle up and drive home safely.